Hello Team Aries, it's Empire333 here with your love tarot card reading. I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are. Aries, I was doing your reading and it did not get recorded, so that's why I have the layout. Um, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter placements. Aries, I will go through the whole reading again and I will extend this reading because Spirit is guiding me to do so for further advice. You can find the link down below. If this is your situation, then um, it's going to be, you know, what this person's next actions are and future outcomes. Even if you don't want this person or not, you can always follow me. The, the link is down below. Okay, so Aries. Um... I'm going to go into it again, okay? So there's some things here. There is basically you are trying to find your happiness, okay? You are, um, I feel like some of you are having a falling out with your person. It could have not happened yet, but you will have a falling out with your person. The, for the first time, I see that you are trying to focus on your own happiness and healing because you've had so many distractions from other people around you. Or from whoever okay and I feel like a lot of you are being pulled your energy is being pulled in a way where like people around you are saying I need this I need that you know whatever and it's you're at this point where you just need a break your person is also at this point where they need a break and it's not because of you it's because of what's going on in their life okay some of you feel like you're selling yourself short whoever the feminine energy is like you're selling yourself short because whatever you've tried in this connection it's not going anywhere it's not fruitful it's not blossoming okay and you're going through this rough emotional time and so is your person okay i feel like the people around your person too are not letting them like rest or be at peace whatever it is in their immediate environment and here you're trying you're at a crossroads where you're trying to think like okay well you know what am i what am i supposed to do next what action do, do i take okay because you're an aries of course you're thinking about action action baby and it's like spirit is saying here you know what it's not about taking action right now. It's about healing yourself and focusing on your happiness and your going within your spirituality, okay? Because that will come soon. But right now, it's like take take a break. Some of you, okay, your person is avoiding arguing with you. So some of you, if your person stopped talking to you or they went cold turkey, it's because they're avoiding a... Um, an argument okay okay I just want to make sure I'm recording um so I'm gonna get into your energy also so you're at this point where you're focusing on healing here some of you it's like you want to go on a vacation because there's all these things that you want in life I see you're, you focusing more on your goals at this time what your dreams are and I do see Aries, like you feel, we got the Seven of Swords again. So it's kind of like, no, not again. That's a little different, but what is it? Hold on. No, it's the same. But I feel like more it's about you, Aries, like feeling like you're selling yourself short in this connection. It's because the conditions you want are not being met by this person. And this person that you're dealing with, they have very deep feelings for you, okay? They've got really deep feelings for you that they're not showing at this time. I feel like they're holding back, okay? Um, and it has, for some of you, what I got is like, this person has some type of money issues or they have something that's legit, why they can't give to you. Maybe they take care of other people or they're going through a very hard time in their life. I do see that, a very heavy energy over this person. So I don't know what they're going through, guys. I mean, like everybody's been through a lot this past year. A lot of people have suffered. Um, and some of you are thinking like, you know what, I don't want to hear any more excuses from this person and, you know, things like that, okay? But 
I feel like this person is really tired. I feel that um, they're being very sensitive at this time and they are not focusing on their emotions. All they're focusing is on lack. Like, listen, I can't give you what you want. I don't want to hurt you kind of thing. Um, they might, did you guys see that? It was like the matrix. Um, this person might have walked away or might about walk away. Okay. So this is about this person not trying to be emotional about the situation that they're in, not showing you their emotions, hiding their deep feelings from you. And I feel like there's something you don't know, okay? So like I said, this person might be embarrassed to tell you about something financial um, that they are bound to is what I just heard. Um, some of you are dealing with a cancer. I keep seeing six, nine in my readings. Okay. So, oh, that could be the yin and the yang also, right? Yeah. Wow. The yin and the yang. This person could be the yin to your yang or vice versa. Um, yeah, they are. That's why it feels so extreme. It feels like a very extreme connection here. And I'm telling you, this person is avoiding conflict, Aries because they they don't want to fight with you okay and i feel like this person is walking away and tr going back to what the whatever their responsibilities are and going to the resources that they have built cuz this person has built a lot or trying to renew the resources is what i'm getting for some of you you're at this point where it's like you just want to hear from them, even if it's just friendly, just to know whether you should wait because you are at a crossroads here of, you know, you're thinking, should I have more patience? Should I wait it out? So you're at this crossroads, crossroad energy here, but you just want to know if you should wait it out. You want to, you want this person to give you direction, but they're not. They're not even talking about like, you know, the elephant in the room or whatever you call it. Um, I feel like this person at this time, it's like. So, so far, Aries, if this is your situation, you can follow me in the extended link, okay? Because we're going to get into what this person's next actions are. Because this person doesn't want it to be over. They don't. They feel that you know, there's some type of unfinished business, but at the same time, they're so disappointed in what's going on in their life right now that they can't get to you. It's like, I'm sad because I'm disappointing you, but I've already disappointed myself. You know, it's that kind of a feeling here. And you might think to yourself, hey, this person is amazing. They can do A, B, C, D all at once. They've done it all. Why aren't they taking the steps? to come towards me and make this right. And this person feels at a, a very lack at their time in their life right now because there's something going on where they can't give to you, okay? And I feel like there's something buried beyond that that they're not showing you, like what is it really? So like I'm telling you, one of the scenarios I'm getting is this person doesn't have they can't be with you and be with other people or someone else or whatever is the situation. I feel like for some of you, it's financial. We'll get into this further in the extended reading, but I feel like you view this person as the king of wands, right? You're like, this person could do it all. They're a multitasker. They help everyone. They're, they're so much like me. Like I said, the yin to my yang, definitely. I feel like even though you both see things completely different, you both perceive situations, like you don't see eye to eye, you're from different worlds, but this person, it's like they just can't, they haven't been able to get out of whatever situation this is. They are very disappointed. They want to take action. It's not like they don't, but right now they're losing, they've been losing hope, okay? They need hope to come back. Because I feel like this person keeps getting disappointed. And also, it's like 
they don't want to hurt you. They don't. Okay, so let's get one more. You might be seeing 1010, you guys. 333. Three, three. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. We did get the Seven of Swords. But you guys, I don't read the... I read the energy. I don't always read the cards, okay? I'm intuitive, so let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like this person is not, like, they're not going to give you that straight conversation, Aries, if that's what you're looking for. Like, they're not going to give you, you know, well, let me do this. Let me do that. You know, they're not going to give you a solid explanation of why they're not making the moves necessary for this to, they haven't been, okay? And I feel like this person just wants a new cycle, but they don't have, they're not ready to take the risk yet. It's kind of like, you know what it feels like, Aries? You and this person have been through a lot together for some of you, and it's like they wish they could just start from zero, and just omit certain things they did or they didn't say to you or they kept from you and so forth. And I feel also this person could have, it's like get, gotten other people involved in the mix, which was not right of them. They know that. They feel guilty about it. I just heard. Okay. So yeah, and your person might be going through a phase of depression is what I'm hearing here from spirit. It's kind of like they need to get out of their funk. Okay. Um, in order for them to be ready to turn this connection around, okay? Which they want to. It's just that unique, like, I feel like this person needs some space. But they do. They want to resurrect this connection. Some of them, it's like they don't want to lose you, okay? Is what I'm hearing here. So as this person, you know, if they already walked away, it's because they're avoiding an argument with you. They don't want to fight with you, Aries. Okay, keep that in mind. Oof, look at that. The Aries Emperor. I feel like you want the Emperor status from your person. And it's like you want the structure. You want the, you know, certain condi conditions in this connection. And you want them to take the lead. You want them to be all these things. But I feel like your person knows they can't be that for you right now. But right now, okay, let's see how this changes. Because I feel like your person is really like treading carefully. Let's see. What else, spirit? What else can you tell us? Yeah. Look at that. They got to surrender whatever it is, this, this karma, this heaviness, this burden they've been taking on. I don't think this has to do with you. I think this is external. So I don't know who they're with, what's going on, what they're responsible for. Maybe there's a family attachment here or a um, some type of money attachment. Maybe they're attached to somebody because of money. That could be something. Whatever it is, this person's, like I told you, they're tired, okay? They need to surrender this. They know that, okay? But I feel like this person is taking a while. And that's why they're not paying attention to the emotions, the deep feelings they have for you. They're kind of ignoring it or they're not showing it to you, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know what's so crazy? This person knows how, that you, like, you might be the spiritually evolved one, Aries. They know that you see right through them. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Let me know in the comments if that makes any sense to you. It's kind of like, I feel like this is you and you're like, listen, whether you're in front of me, behind me, you're away from me, I know. 
because I feel you. You both have this very strong soulmate connection here, okay? This person um, is like, wow. I feel that there is a lot of spiritual activity. There's a lot of telepathy you and this person have. So even if you don't see them, you might, like, even if you're not in talking terms, you might see their name or, you know, you might feel them or smell them like a cologne they wear, the perfume. Yeah, there needs to be a very, uh, there needs to be cleansing in this connection. You both are mirroring each other. So I feel like this person definitely is a yin to your yang or whatever for sure. Okay, so one more, okay, one more spirit before we go. Anything else? Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person wants a new start with you, okay? They want to bring the fire and the passion back is what I'm getting. The fire and the passion and like not, you know. They know they need to make the changes. They don't want this to end. They don't want this connection to end. They don't want to tear it down. And I feel like they're at that point where if they continue this connection, like, you know, that they will tear it down, like they'll destruct it, you know, they don't want to be destructive. And like I said, Mar Mars, I don't know if I said that in this reading, because the or the one that didn't record, Mars is not in a good place right now, and neither is Venus, okay? So, astrologically speaking, okay? So, it's kind of like, this is not a good time either, but... We're going to go into that based off the aspect, spirit, spiritual advice for if, what are these per, this person's next moves? We'll see predictive outcomes, and I'm going to see what's coming in for you, Aries, what you should expect, um, and what you need to do based off of what is coming in in your life. It could be anything. It could be romance, whatever else spirit brings up. That thing, you know, spirit always talks for your highest and best, okay, in the extended so Aries, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to like this video and let me know in the comments how you resonate with the situation. Subscribe if you already have not and if you like my style of reading, um, turn on your notifications. I wish you all the best, Aries. I'll see you in the extended. If not, take care and peace out.